Okay, guys, so I have made it home and I have another project that your girl is going to be working on. I told you guys earlier about the bookshelves. This is currently how my closet is looking, but I am going to get rid of the shelvings at the top and then the bookshelves will go accordingly. So I believe I can maybe fit like three or four right here. I have to like, once I put up that one, then I'll be able to show you where it fits in at. But I was going to go with the black and I'm still thinking if I should have went with the black since I just spray painted my vanity area black now but i love the way that the espresso brown looks in the videos that i've been seeing so that's why i really got that color so what i'm gonna have to do is is remove everything out my closet i will just put it on super p side of the closet and then i will go ahead and start taking down the white wiring on the shelves so stay tuned guys I ain't got a clue, bro. I said five in the morning. I wake up to five from my yard. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Pray to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind what it gave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is right. All these thoughts I'm traveling. Starting to give up. So this is my closet after everything that I need to remove is removed. The only thing I have in here is my vanity and I'm just going to leave that right there because that's going to stay there and then I will just do the shelves like that in the angle. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing the wires and then I will come back. So this is what it's looking like thus far. Still have that one to take out and I'm gonna have to rearrange my vanity. But it's okay. Okay. Like I still have those little white pieces that you see on the wall behind this. So I think I'm gonna have Super P take those out to make it a little flat to the wall because I don't want baby Z to try to come in here and climb up on it and then it falls forward or anything. I need it to be as flat as it can to the back. So, yeah, this is how it's looking. So I am starting the process of putting this together. I already put like my wooden pieces in. It's not too complicated so far, it's just that if baby's even sleep, I can get a little more done. And then I also need to find my Phillips screwdriver. I have this, but it's too loose. So I need to find out where is my other Phillips screwdriver. And then I'll be good to go.
So here is the setup. Three hours later. This is what I got. And I have three more to go, but I will save that for tomorrow. Because your girl is about to go to bed. I am not completely done setting up yet. I have to still install like my racks. Um, well, my rods to put the clothes on. I have the space for the shoes. I still have some stuff. I don't know what I'm going to add right here. I think I'm going to add like a big mirror right here. So when I come in and do like my selfies, I have my vanity right here. I had a mirror for it, but I gave it to Zai. I also had like another big mirror like right here. But that is going to be too big for my space right here. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is buy me like a nice cute mirror to put right here. I still have these holes and stuff to patch up from like the um the previous racks that were already up there. But y'all, I love this. Like this came out so good. My dream closet is coming along. OMG, y'all. I am so happy. I always, always wanted a closet set up like this like even though i don't have that much stuff to put in it yet your girl is still gonna get some clothes to put in so basically um all of like the little brown pieces like this i'm just gonna like pretend that i'm touching it i can also like move those to any spot that i want but this is just how i just put it in just for now i can really take any one of them out and make a bigger space it doesn't matter but I am super excited with the outcome of this closet. Yes, I think I'm going to get some nice stuff to put at the top right here. Up here in this area. I'll get something nice to put up there. And then after I get done with mine, when I get done completely transforming the closet, I have to work on the hubs closet. It is going to be fire. We are getting the Williams Palace together. I know I took a little while off from decorating because I still had real life stuff that I needed to focus on and also focus on you guys here on YouTube. But your girl is getting back to her DIYing and decorating. I am so excited. I uh, purchased four of these from Target. They were $37 a piece. I think with tax, they came up to like almost $40. I was actually going to do like five. I'm still thinking if I should do five because I could fit one more right there. I might just get that one more. Yeah, I think I'm going to just get that one more right here. And then, um, yeah, probably put my mirror right here then. Or if I don't put a mirror right there, I might just still just put my mirror right there in the vanity area. But y'all, y'all see your girl dream closet coming to live y'all make sure y'all hire y'all if y'all want to hire super v hit me up let your girl know because yes this is beautiful i am so excited this is like the best idea ever i have my helper's eyes since i can't get to the bottom i have her going in with the stickers let me see the stickers so i can show them she's going in with the stickers to go cover up the nails and everything make sure you um on this side too is some of these look look this way. okay but this is how it's looking y'all i love it so y'all i went to walmart and i got these white little rods these are like three dollars and something each and then i got this black semi-gloss spray that i'm going to be spraying these black the only thing I don't like about these, I thought that they were actually bigger, but when I got them, they were like really, really skinny. You can see how skinny it is compared to one of my hands. So I think like if you are gonna do this type of closet and you have a lot of clothes, this is not recommended for you because you only really, realistically only have like one spot on each bookshelf to like put your clothes, unless you just set it up to have like two parts and that's it. But realistically, if you have a lot of clothes, I don't think this project is really worth it because you have a chance of your bookshelf leaning forward and it's going to be too heavy. So I really think that this is for people who have not so much clothes. I don't really have a lot of clothes and I, I definitely don't have a lot of shoes like that. 
So I think that the closet is perfect for me because I don't really buy that much stuff. But if you buy like a lot of clothes, I think that you will be best with whatever original closet that you have currently. If it's enough space right now. Because you won't have a lot of space to put anything. Because it can get overcrowded really quick in each I forgot to mention too, like each box on the five piece bookshelf, it is it only holds 30 pounds each. So you do the math if you put about I would say if you put about three or four pair of jeans or maybe five pair of jeans in one section, that might be enough for that one section because it only holds like 30 pounds. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing this type of job. I actually went to go measure one of these to see if it was gonna hold anything before I spray painted them. So I think it's gonna work for me for now, but eventually I may invest in the thicker rods just to see if I get a better hold. But these were the only ones that I saw that were like inexpensive that I want to just go ahead and try these out before I actually spend a lot of money on the big ones. So for the spray paint and, and five of these, it was like $26. But again, these rods are not thick at all. They are really skinny. I'll let you guys see the finished product once these dry. But I'm going for the black and brown. And I like the way these are looking so far. And yeah. So this is how my closet look after I put the rods in. Like I told you guys before, these are just some little skinny rods that I got from Walmart for like three something each. And these are my nice hangers. I still have to go get more hangers because the scheme that I'm going with in here is going to be majority of black hangers. At first I was like, hey, I'm going to find some black rods, but it still worked out. So. Head over to Walmart if you guys want to try these rods. I see in some of the other previous videos that I have seen, they are thicker rods. But I will see how long these hold up, and I will let you guys know. But if they don't hold up too long, I'm going to eventually end up replacing them with the So I have rod. installed these lights to my closet. I got these in the color of black. So you can just press to control the lights. It also came with this remote. You have that option and you can also change like the colors. You can put like a timer on it. And I'm just gonna show you guys how they pretty much work. So I had to put three double A batteries in each remote. Let me cut off the light to show you guys. The, let me show you how they look first. Okay, so I just put them like up there. What I love about this, the black, is that you can barely even see them. Like, if I was to do white, then I think you will be able to see the white more. Only see, like, that little clear piece. But, like, right there, I can barely even see it, even if I back up. Okay, so even when I'm right here, I can barely yeah. even see any black. I don't think you guys can see it either. I don't know why I see, like, a little glare. But I'm just going to cut the lights off and show you how they work. So, basically, if I hit on for that one, I could just... Y'all see that? That is so neat and cool. That is so cool. And I can also change the colors of it. It kind of like, y'all look at this. Look at that red, y'all. Look at this red. Look at this red. It's so good. Green, 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 green. I think red is by far the best to me. And red, the blue looks kind of fire too, so. Y'all definitely need to check these lights out for sure. So the blue, red, white. You know, white always looks fire too. I can see my hangers. 
What is this? This is kind of like the um, the lights. That's so cool. So all I have to do now is start um, putting my shoes and stuff in. It is almost Easter weekend, so I don't even know if I'm going to start like before Easter weekend because I still have my stuff over here in Super P's closet, destroying everything. And um, yeah, I still have to figure out when I want to set his up as well. Your girl just have to figure it all out. So if I don't get this video out to you guys before Easter, just know I got y'all at the Easter for sure. I got y'all at the Easter for sure. I've been waiting on this big reveal for a while now. And I think it's time to show the guys, show y'all what I'm um working with so far. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys subscribe. Until next time, bye y'all.